allowed to continue talking during this portion. <laughs> So we just get knocked down here. Gold card locked in. Kill gonna come through. Mirwan picking that one up. And first blood for Mad Lions Koi. Of course, once three members got revealed on the top side of the map, Exica and Doss started getting a lot more aggressive onto that wave. But for now, Super not under too much threat. You've got both sides wanting to try and play a side lane. So Yoya gonna face check here. Right there, Yoya. Ball Breaker gonna get interrupted. There should just be a quick and easy kill pick of Yoya. Flashing back for safety. Needs a bit more time for the Ball Breaker. Nice wall coming from Briscow. He just got immediately gonna fall off though. Dashing in, finding the charm. That's the angle. But he goes back into the Unraveled Earth. Briscow is still living for far too long. And Supa is untouched. That's not the lethality of ours. It's lethal tempo. And he's matching the pace of the game well. Double kill coming through for El Yoya. And SK looked like they were going to be able to just easily trade for that dragon, but MDK were having none of it. The fact that Yoya managed to flash in the pit and survive with no one in SK able to finish him off. Going in on El Yoya. Flashing forward to block the ball breaker. Really confident they've got the damage to make this work. Excellent use of the ulti to stop Press Cali from contributing. Shut down on El Yoya. And oh. That Mad Lions flare feels a little bit different now. Frescoe ended up using his full combo in the mid wave, and that's immediately where Isma was like, hang on a second. He's gonna get knocked back there. Gold card now coming in from Mirror Winter Relevant. Should just fall here. Big pick for the side of Mad Lions Koi. Good roam timing to get up towards that top side of Supa. Supa alone. Ghosting out. Doss flash forward for the hook. Clean flash from Supa. Patience waited for the cooldown before he did it. Doss thought he had the angle, but Alvaro is there just in the nick of time. Just about able to get in to block everything, and then the setup as well. And now, Execute might be in trouble. Can Double he open the wall? That's good custom blows. There's no way to get out of this one. Execute running away. Right on time, oh, yeah, caught out though, Frescawi. Niski onto the backside, nice flip back on the multiple members. Execute now locked up the Zendano, trying to come in and punish. Multiple members still standing, oh, yeah, trying to make out a safety, but it's Niski finding the kill. Super though, ready to fire back, that's one. Dosh returned. Niski, one charge, has to be careful. It's not the Lethality Forest, it's the on hit. Hit the thumbs up, he knows he's on the wrong side of the map. I don't know if that's gonna save his life, however, Weaver's wall coming in. Mad Lions quite wanna keep going for this. Unraveled Earth is there, but Niski's just gonna walk out, he's finally gonna dash, he has just enough time! He's just styling on him. I was gonna bring up the rivalry, but now I feel like I might have to. Niski El Yoya. Charm connecting. Malignant's there as well. You're gonna destiny gate out to safety, but I think he's just gonna run you down. Niski. 3-0-3. Three, three. It all goes back to that first play. Frescow and El Yoya just a little over eager. Isma setting up that kill, and he's just been snowballing ever since. Outwatch to buy a brief moment here. The arm guard there, and now Mirwan's ready to follow up. Niski almost had the kill. He should have had the kill. The knockback is there. Mad Lions Koi. Just refused to give up in the fight. I cannot believe that Supa made it out. Supa made it out. Niski had to dash away and lock up is there. Unbreakable follow up. Flick back as well. Isma in trouble. Trying to make it a safety. Fidelio is there. Cover with the vault breaker. A quick pick and a kill donated over to Supa. And again, this is exactly how Madeline's going to want to try and play this composition. You've got the Talia use that opportunity with the Vi to find these picks and all over the wall connecting to Niski. Frescali with the flip back. Does he have the damage to finish the kill on his lonesome? It looks like he certainly does, but Niski still dashing, flashing, dashing out again with the gold card! The necessary range, just barely able to get it. Stun now coming in. Again, Dosh barely able to grab the hooks. Excellent pick from Madeline's Coin. It's there, but they found the pick off onto the side. Niski again caught out. It was so good early in the game, but now Mad Lions Koi are ready to punish one dash back to safety. Niski's still living! Lock into the Iron Solari just to barely keep him alive. Blinking how far now? Execute is on the Jason. This is how you do it! If you split it up! Bit of an oopsie, but I still think it should be enough. Niski dashing. Has Zanya's a little bit extra movement. Speed LU just waiting. Shouldn't need to use the alt here. Flick back is good from Frescawi. Clean pick on the bottom side. And the meanwhile, SK though immediately gonna punish. They have a Baron buff to tier two. Guarantee. Alvaro stepping up, cleanse, double value there, but not going to be enough to keep Exekick alive. Hook back from Doss is big, but now Isma's going to be the one in trouble. Mirwan just jumps in and finds the CC. Niski over the wall wants to get a bit more damage back, but it's just not enough. They'll hear flash again because it blows. Man, Braum is powerful. Niski got no way out that time, and Mirwan hits him with the yawning Teemo. He knows he did well. Exekick didn't have a chance there. He got hit by the stun. He cleansed. He, he then cleansed got stunned the again. bar assault and the stun and immediately got the gold card onto Exa. El Yo Yo over the wall. Oh no, no, I think we've seen this one before, but this time Exekick manages to stay standing. He's just continuing to auto. Exekick going over the wall, but he goes right to the waiting arms of Mad Lions Koi. That was too damn far. He could not get away with that one. Red card going in. Wanted to go for gold, but. Getting caught out, Isma looks for the ball for now. X-Kick though, remains safe on the backside. Supa now legendary, but the prom just body blocks the autos. And Supa gets to do whatever he damn well pleases. Finally, SK will find the kill. The shutdown is there. Niski trying to make his way out of safety. No follow-up damage means he gets another charm down. But that's four members of Mad Lions Koi, and Niski dashes into them. Goes golden. 
Gets to see his own demise in slow-mo. It's a double kill for Mad Lions Koi. They're just too damn far ahead. They just don't have anyone tanky enough to deal with the onslaught of Mad Lions Koi, and especially Super in these fights. Blast Cone out to safety and a potential pick on the side. Keep your eyes on Super on the back side of the fight. Flash out from Dodge, but he's bringing the bar assault into the rest of his team. That's not what you want to be doing. Super goes golden, buys that moment. The stun card comes in. The AD carry still standing. Mad Lions Koi tearing SK to pieces. SK stood for a moment they finished stronger continuing to rise in the tier list taking down sk well fought in the early to mid from the sk mid jungle but the later and later we got the more and more mad lions koi take over finding their first win in spring